Hi folks, hello wherever you are in the world. Mark here, welcome to my channel. This is another What I Eat in a Day video. Includes lots of delicious food as usual. Also, very brief look at my new laptop and my new YouTube making equipment, microphones, software, etc. Most of all though, it focuses on the food. So if you've seen my videos before, you know the drill. Good, healthy, nutritious food. Budget, of course, plant-based, vegan. Hope you enjoy the video and I hope that this is the video where maybe I'll earn your subscription. Hope you enjoy the video folks. Okay folks so here's what I'm having for breakfast and uh, well it's my usual breakfast but I have gone back now to my usual porridge oats. These are essential Waitrose porridge oats as you can see. I was using co-ops basic oats so I didn't like them they were just like glue basically. So I've gone back to those oats. These are really good. You can also get these oats with added wheat bran, um, which I like to use, but they're not very good when I put them into my waffle batter and pancake batter. So basic oats, very good for you, very cheap. A little bit of sea salt, Ceylon cinnamon powder from Buy Whole Foods Online, ground cinnamon, and some frozen blueberries. I do use frozen fruit in my, in my porridge. You just pop it in towards the end and the heat of the porridge will defrost and melt the fruit and the blueberries burst and you get all that wonderful flavour. Don't be afraid of using frozen fruits. These are essential weight troves as well. There's a lot of snobbery about frozen food, isn't there? Unfortunately, frozen fruit, frozen veg, people say you shouldn't use it. It's not as good for you. You know, it's, it's just as good for you, in my opinion. Um, at the end of the day, if you can't afford lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, uh, frozen fruit and vegetables are so much cheaper. And at the end of the day, the more fruit and veg you can get in your diet, the better, as far as I'm concerned. So don't be afraid of using frozen. Don't listen to people who tell you you shouldn't be using frozen. So here it is, my delicious, healthy, filling breakfast. Oats, cinnamon, a little bit of sea salt. Frozen blueberries, oh yes, this is so good, so full of flavour, fill me right up. Um, I'm going to have a nice massive cup of green tea straight after this. I don't feel particularly good this morning. I, uh, I made the mistake yet again of having some white bread yesterday, which always makes me feel a bit odd. And yes, I know I shouldn't keep having it, but it's one of those weaknesses of mine that I work on and my diet. I've almost eliminated white flour out of my diet because it does make me feel quite bad but occasionally I uh, slip up and give in to the temptation to have some white bread and I shouldn't and it's made me feel quite ill feel quite sort of sickly and bloated so I'm gonna have a super healthy day today to work all that out of my system and hopefully I won't be having white bread again but I'm sure because I'm flawed like everyone else I'm sure it probably will happen again, and I really ought to learn my lesson. So I've had my breakfast. I'm now having my uh, lovely cup of green tea. I'm using Twinings, pure green tea. It's probably been not quite my favourite. My favourite green tea is uh, a loose leaf green tea made by the Brew Tea Company. But I don't have any of that at the moment. It's actually on order. So I'm waiting for it to arrive. I'm boiling my water in my Zebra Billy can, as you can see. I don't use a kettle. Um, I switched. I had some advice. I had somebody say, switch from a plastic kettle to a proper sort of cooking implement and the, the taste of your tea improves because every time you make, you boil water in a plastic implement, you get a certain plastic taste, which I was a bit sceptical about, but I changed to brewing my... Um, uh, boiling my water rather in my billy can and it's absolutely true if you stop using a plastic kettle and you use a cooking implement that's metal um, it certainly improves the taste of your tea you don't get that sort of plasticky kettle taste so uh, there's a bit of advice for you so I'm gonna have my green tea it's a lovely morning it's 6 30 the sun's out I'm gonna sit outside in the garden enjoy my tea and listen to the birds I've got my green tea as you can see it's early Sunday morning, sun's out, birds are singing, not a cloud in the sky. Looking forward to a nice healthy day, going for a little bit of a walk later around the nature reserve here in Thatcham. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and uh, I'll show you what I do with the rest of my day.
so it's lunchtime, folks, and I'm just having a rather small bowl of my dal recipe, otherwise known as my Superman meal. Uh, my appetite's improved since this morning, so I'm going to have this for lunch. I'm probably going to have pasta and broccoli for dinner. So lots of fibre, lots of goodness as ever. Uh, this tastes really good. I really love this dish. This is one of my top top two dishes, I would say. So I'm going to enjoy this. I've got a, a couple of uh, small naan breads. I'm going to have a pint of water to go with it. Uh, I'm going to take my B12 supplement along with it. So that's my lunch. Stay tuned and you'll see afternoon coffee and my dinner yet to come. So it's afternoon coffee time. I've got a different uh, blend. I'm trying some Waitrose own coffee beans that I've ground up. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to be like. They're relatively cheap, so I haven't got to... Uh, my hopes are not too high, but Waitrose own kind of um, brand food is pretty good. So let's, uh, let's give it a sip. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I put eight grams of coffee in this cup. That might be a little bit too much. It's a bit too strong, so I think next time I'd try seven grams. But um, yeah, all in all, that's not a mm, yeah, that's not a bad cup of coffee at all. So these are the beans that I'm using: Waitrose and Partners Italian style coffee beans, dark roast. Full bodied with dark chocolatey notes and a rich balanced flavour. Strength number five. It's not a bad cup of coffee. As I said, I've done eight grams. Could probably do with seven, but it's uh it's it's quite a rich, it's quite a rich flavour. Mmm. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I could definitely drink that. Um it's about one pound fifty cheaper than the union roast that I get, but I don't mind spending a little bit more for coffee because to be honest I'm a bit of a coffee snob so I'm going to sit down enjoy my afternoon coffee I'm catching up on some episodes of Vikings this is season six part one I'm on episode four Vikings if you've never watched it it's a brilliant tv show it's on Amazon Prime but it's it's on all other lots of other formats too so you can catch up with that and then when I'm done watching some Vikings I'm going to get to work on some YouTube stuff. I've got a brand new laptop. It's a Dell Inspiron. It's a really, really nice laptop. I've got my notepad here for scripting video. I don't, I don't script videos as such, but uh, I make bullet points. So hopefully I'm trying to improve the quality of my content. There's my laptop. I've got a little uh, photograph of a little red Swedish house. Somewhere I'd really love to go is Sweden and uh, just enjoy the forest and the countryside. I've got a microphone, as you can see. I've just downloaded some new software, actually. Um, it's called OBS, and it allows you to record what's on your desktop whilst you also are talking to and recording your webcam. Um, that's something that I'm hoping that I can use to make some vegan sort of plant-based news videos. So look out for those on my channel. They're, they're going to be an experiment. I'm going to make some of those videos and um, see if people like them. So if you come across those videos soon with the webcam in the corner, and I'll probably have like the, uh, the text document that I'm reading from and getting the story. If you like those videos, please let me know when you see them, because obviously your feedback is going to let me know whether those videos are worth making or not. That's my little setup. Anyway, I'm going to get back to my coffee because it's getting cold. And, uh, well, it'll soon be dinner time. The weather's turned a bit. I was going to have my coffee outside, but it's it's quite... It doesn't look dark. <laughs> it looks quite light, but it's very grey and there's drizzle in the air. So anyway, folks, if you're having a cup of coffee with me right now, cheers, salut, skol, enjoy your coffee. And uh, I'll see you very, very soon for a very, very delicious dinner. So I'm preparing uh, the ingredients for my dinner this evening. It's going to be pasta and broccoli, which I'm eating a lot this week. Um, I think I've had it four times, so this will be the fifth time this week. I'm going with the whole wheat penne. Just much better for you, much more fibre. Some vegan bouillon, which I add to the water where I sauté the broccoli. 
uh, nutritional yeast that I sprinkle on at the end and stir through for flavour. Lots of B12 as well in this, so that's pretty good. Some chilli flakes for a bit of heat, some sea salt, nothing special there. A couple of cloves of garlic. I also will add a few sprinkles of garlic granules. Uh, broccoli, and that's pretty much it. Pasta and broccoli, it's a very simple dish. This, the nutritional yeast, and this is what makes it pretty cool because this adds a lot of flavour. Once I've cooked the uh, pasta and broccoli, I'll then just drop a tiny, tiny amount of vegan butter into it just to make a little creamy consistency. So I'm going to crack on with my dinner. So that's my dinner ready, folks. Pasta and broccoli with nutritional yeast and a little bit of butter. Vegan spread, obviously, added. And this is so good. I'm eating this so much at the moment, it's just my absolute favourite dish. Whole wheat pasta, certainly lots of fibre, lots of protein, lots of wonderful, wonderful goodness.